What's up guys, so this is the cheapest hotel you can get on Kluk. What's up guys, so today I'm going to do something spontaneous and random and Rose doesn't know about this. I'm going to book a random hotel from Kluk. So I was thinking of which hotel I should get for Kluk. So I decided to go with Kluk, all categories, staycation, sort by low to high. So what I decided to get was the cheapest hotel in Kluk that I can find on the 8th to 9th November. And one of the hotels that stood out to me was actually Venning Hotel by the Lily located at Ju Chat Road. So along Ju Chat Road there are a lot of stores that are Vietnamese so Rose really really loved them so I'm gonna surprise her with this hotel staycation and the price of it is only $88. So it is one of the cheapest hotel you can get on Kluk for that day. So yeah we're gonna do a really really short hotel review of this hotel hotel uh, is pretty much going to be nothing it's actually only two star hotel and today is friday and i'm booking it on the monday so i have work i end at seven so it's going to be quite tough to do the hotel review but we are still going to do it so cheapest hotel you can get on club today is friday i'm going to cut to monday night i just ended work heading to mrt now i got a surprise roll so let's check her reaction out We're going for a staycation. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? We will we'll be now. Why? We will be staying at the cheapest hotel that Cook has to offer. <laughs> <laughs> like now. Really? Why? Yeah. What's up guys, welcome to another hotel review and today we'll be reviewing Venue Hotel by The Lily or Venue Hotel Dash The Lily So a little bit about the hotel itself It is a modern boutique hotel situated in a cozy and rustic environment at Juchia and along the road itself it has two other outlets or chain hotel which is also known as Venue Hotel but it's like a different category la. so why I chose this was because of Rose yeah because this is actually situated right in the center of Duchat Road surrounded by a lot of Vietnamese food so as you all would have already known she's Vietnamese and we are gonna eat Vietnamese food later like I mentioned earlier in the video we have just ended work so it's 7 30 we're gonna have our dinner soon and yeah I hope you can enjoy this very very short hotel review as for the check-in experience Overall, I would say it's an $88 hotel, la, so I didn't expect much, but it is what it is. La. We started the timer when we reached the counter, and all in all, it took 4 minutes. So, fast, lo. It's, it's actually the fastest hotel check-in that we have been through. However, we did saw a piece of paper on the side that says, if you subscribe to the newsletter, you can actually have a late checkout or a complimentary room upgrade. However, when I asked the receptionist, he said, no, but in the end, we did get a 1 p.m. late checkout. Yeah, so overall check-in is fast, la. just not friendly la, to be honest. So on to the room tour. Okay, what's up guys? So let's begin the room tour and I cannot talk very, very loud because the soundproof of this room is... So I'll try my best to increase the volume during post-production. Okay, so stepping into the room itself, we are immediately greeted with the toilet door and this toilet door, I tell you, reminds me of the HDB riser. You get what I mean? This. Okay, but the toilet overall looks okay because it's black and you know, my favorite color is black but it's very, very small lah. So as you can see, the sink is very small. The toilet bowl area is also very, very small. The house over there, amenities wise, $88 what do you expect? It's nothing much lah. And the shower wise, uh, just the shower head lah, no rain shower so... And then for the toilet size as mentioned just now. <laughs> What's this? Am I supposed to shit like that? Yeah, as you can see, not a lot of space. Uh, left side, plenty of space. Right side, wall and toilet roll holder. And the annoying thing about it is that this kind of toilet paper it's like, you know the tissue box kind of paper, which I don't really like. Uh, I'll prefer a toilet roll and then to brush to paste and yeah, soap for a shower cap, hand soap and sanitary bag. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the toilet itself. But yeah, but overall wise, the toilet finishings are actually quite nice. Uh, I don't know what material is this, just towels, but it looks nice and it's black in color. Same as the flooring, as you can see. 
And moving on to the living area itself, there is this hook which is actually quite cool because the hook can be collapsed. I don't mind having this in my own house. So stepping into the living area, you are immediately greeted by the queen size bed. Queen size bed overall, I don't think there's any stain. But from the looks of it, it feels very very hard and even Rose does not want to jump on it. But it's quite hard lah so like I mentioned, $88, what do you expect? Okay, then over this side, there is a very, very narrow table which contains all your water, your coffee, your tea mix, your cups and your kettle itself with a tissue box and the plug over here. Mirror over here as well. And apparently this hotel is also gold green. Okay, and the narrow table itself, there are actually three drawers. One of the drawers contains the hair dryer. And it looks kind of nasty though. The drawer itself, it has bedroom slippers. And then the last drawer itself, it is the safe. And right below the safe, there is a very, very, very mini fridge which has nothing inside last. And above the mini fridge, there is a hanger. Hanger cannot be removed. Wait, actually technically can. No, I don't think so. Can be removed, but I mean, then it's not a hanger really last. And then last but not least, this room itself has a TV which cannot be connected to HDMI because it cannot be pulled out and the TV itself is very very small which I probably think we will not use probably just use our own iPad lah. and as you can tell this room does not have a window which I am very disappointed it feels like we are confined into a box like I said $88 what do you expect so yeah it's pretty much the entire room tour already so yeah time to eat yum yum we're gonna eat first now very hungry <laughs> I guess you're eating cup noodles. What's up, guys? So it's the next morning. Uh, sleep wasn't very good. So Rose is actually going back to work for half the day. Uh, I'll be heading to the gym, not the hotel gym, anytime fitness gym and when I'm back from the gym, I will do the wrap up and summary of this hotel lah, alone. But good news is we will be checking in at Shangri-La later, so check out for the next hotel review if I'm not wrong. Yep. Three hours later. What's up guys, I just finished the gym and Rose is at work now, so I just want to wrap up the entire video of Venus Hotel at the Lily. And overall, I would say it's bare minimum. Lah. So it's only $88. Basically, you got all your bare necessities. There's no food, there's no facilities. Yeah, so there's no food, there's no facilities in the hotel itself. It's literally the toilet and the sleeping area, so nothing else. However, it's located at Ju Chat, so there's a lot of Atas food. So where we had breakfast was at, let me check. So where we had breakfast was Common Man Coffee Roasters. It was really, really good. It was $63 for two people. So it's quite expensive. However, it is a recommend. The breakfast is not from the hotel, but it is opposite the hotel. So it's very conveniently located. There are also a lot of other food options along Joo Chiat Road, which you can check it up yourself. Yeah, so overall, it's going to be a very, very short hotel review. Essentially, I'm just showing you what you can get for the cheapest room in Club. So to be honest, I don't think I'll give a rating for this hotel because it's it's really bare necessity. If you really got no other place to stay, you can actually come here. But if you are a foreigner coming into Singapore, wanting a cheap location, I would not recommend this hotel. However, I would recommend paying $12 more to stay at Life at Funan. Welcome to the end of this video. If you really like this random hotel review that we have come up with, do comment down below and remember to like, share and subscribe. And you can watch my other videos over here. Bye. What's up guys, so welcome to another hotel review and today we will be reviewing Shangri-La Rasa at the Sentosa.